Okay, there's two things that I wanna talk about today. And one of those being is having an all or nothing mindset and what is really required for you to get to your goal. Now, if you do have an all or nothing mindset, I can tell you now that a lot of people will tell you that's a mindset you, that you need to cut out of your life and reframe your, your whole way of thinking because that could be a detriment. While I do agree, you could actually use it as an advantage into this other thing I'm gonna mention, that you need to do more in order to get to your goal because what you're doing now isn't enough because you're not seeing any results. And if you have an all or nothing mindset, use that to your advantage. It's the reason why Kobe Bryant or Michael Phelps, insert anybody that you look up to that has done something incredible, they were outputting way more than anybody else and they were completely focused on it. I'll give you a really good example. When I started losing weight, the reason why I wanted to lose the weight is because I obviously wanted to look better and feel better about myself and get healthier. But I also wanted to compete in the sport of CrossFit. And this is back in 2014 when CrossFit was freaking popping off. And because I wanted to like get to that level and I wanted to strive for something, I dedicated most of my time to the sport. I was training sometimes twice a day. I was learning new skills, refining those skills. I was saying no to things that I didn't have to say no to, but I did because I was so passionate, so obsessed about getting better at CrossFit, the sport, and losing weight, getting in shape so that I had more capabilities to get better at the sport. And I had an all or nothing mindset because that's what I wanted most. A lot of people might have that all or nothing mindset and it cr makes them crumble because it actually makes them feel like they can't accomplish it because it's all or nothing. All in, if I can't achieve it with this time frame, I'm quitting. But if you just take the mindset, the all or nothing mindset, and you just broaden the time horizon of that, you'll get there. And what you turn that into is that you better get it or else you're done. That was like the ultimatum for me. If I'm dedicating all this time here, I better get good at it. Because if I suck, what the heck does that, what am I doing this for, right? Your all or nothing mindset should be applied to the thing you want most and also making sacrifices to get to the thing you want most. For me, it was getting better at CrossFit, getting in shape, but that also allows you to output way more than anybody else. And it also gets you to get to a great level. There is sacrifices involved with that. Having an all or nothing mindset doesn't have to be a detriment. You just have to make your time horizon on how long that it actually takes longer. If you make it longer, you can actually achieve the goal. Now, the second thing to pair that up with, you need to be simply doing more and outputting more than what you think you need to. You need to chip away at it every day. For example, if you wanna lose 50 pounds, on average, it takes about a week to lose a pound of body fat. That means you have about 50 weeks to lose 50 pounds. Now, if you dedicated most of your time, you made sacrifices, you said no to things that you don't have to say no to, but you are because you're dedicated to this, like going out to eat, saying no to alcohol, you say no to those things, and you dedicate your time to losing the 50 pounds, the likelihood of you losing it is very high. You're just increasing your chances. And I compare it to chipping away as if you were trying to make a porcelain statue. You know those statues that are in Rome? They're like really like smooth. They look like they're soft, but it's granite and it's hard. It's because the artists who did it took their time. They went so hard with it. They put so much work into it and they didn't care how long it took because they knew the end result was going to be fantastic. And that's what the works of art are. They're fantastic. They're amazing. There's no blemishes in them because they took their time without caring on how long it actually took. And I think that's where the all or nothing mindset comes in is they had an all or nothing mindset set, but they didn't give themselves such a short amount of time to complete it. They went all in, the all or nothing mindset, they went all in and they didn't care how long it took. They just did it. And that's why you have to treat your weight loss, your fitness goals, and any type of goal that you might have. Every day you have to chip away at a small piece of stone to make it as perfect as possible. So for example, 50 pounds of weight you have to lose. What if you took that idea and just said, I have to lose one pound first. All that is, is a tiny chip into that stone and you lose the one pound. Cool. On to the next pound. What do you have to do to the next pound. Now I need to track my calories a little bit better. I need to eat more protein. I need to go on my walks. You lost another pound. Let's go for pound number three. I need to track a little bit better. I need to do a little bit better job of cooking my meals. And now I need to push harder in my workouts. Another pound lost. And when you compound those over 50 weeks to like a year, you lose the 50 pounds. And what you have left standing is a perfect statue of exactly all the work that you put in, all the time and effort that you put in because you took your time with it and you didn't care how long 
long it took because you were doing it right from the start. See, a lot of us want to just take the hammer and go hard with the, just go, just take big chunks out. What happens is you're left with crumbs and large boulders and just chips and not smooth over edges. And, and we're left with this just piece of junk that doesn't look as good because we didn't try to take our time with it because we didn't broaden our horizon and we had an all or nothing mentality because we just had this small short view of like how long things actually take. If you take your all or nothing mindset, you broaden your horizon, you do more output than you think is required and you go the extra mile to make it good from the start, you're gonna be left with the best thing ever. You're gonna be like, wow, I put so much hard work in the first year and now I never have to look back and worry about refining anything because it's already refined. It's already good. I'm free. That is the best feeling ever. But all it's going to take for you to even starting is for you to do it, which is what I talked about in my last video. And if you need a starting guide, how to just get started and what to do, go check out that last video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.